Hey guys, KT here. Welcome back to some more Spyro the Dragon Reignited Trilogy. I don't know how to... Well, I, mean, I probably just gotta call it Spyro the Dragon from now on. But basically last time we basically almost completed the entire first HUD world. Uh, we, as you can see, every single base level is done. Now we got one more level we have to complete, which is the Toasty Boss Fight. Now... I did get off after the last video um, because it was really late. I didn't want to record completely. Even though it was just one part, I just wanted to get this started. So, I'm back at the beginning of the hub world. And now we're heading on to Toasty's Lair. So let's see how this plays out. Um, it's probably going to go good. It's probably going to go bad. I don't know. Let's see. Then we'll be able to move on to the next hub world, which will be nice. Boom, 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 flame, flame. Okay, just gotta keep flying. Fly, 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 fly. Okay. It's gonna be interesting just going through this. I love that frame rate drop though. Oh man, it, it feels like my uh, whole entire perspective of this game has changed since the last time I played. Like, I see a lot of frame rate drop. I don't know why. Either I'm just going crazy or something, I don't know. Okay, we'll just see. Oh, come on. That was not nice. There we go, perfect. God, I really don't like those dogs. Those dogs are jerks. I believe in these toasty boss battles, they're like these boss battles, there is like little to no way of healing yourself. If I remember right. Um at least before uh I think the whole level doesn't have any healing. I I'm a hundred percent sure there isn't. If there is then I'm just going crazy. I'm just going crazy. And what I do like is that there's some art in here. I do I do like that. Okay, now before I do anything, there is a path over here, which I can see. Okay, now I just gotta be careful, because those dogs are just double flame, which we haven't encountered that many enemies with different specials, but we're just learning about it, so it's like, oh, hey, it's fine. Okay, let's say hello to this dragon real quick. Nevin. Hi, Nevin. How are you? Nasty Nork has put one of his most devious henchmen in charge of the artisan world. Bring him on! I think I smell a barbecue. Be careful, Spyro. Toasty has many tricks up his sleeve. Of course he does. Oh god, I remember this, uh... This boss fight originally. Just Toasty himself. It's just so interesting going against him. Like, yeah, I remember when I first went against him, it was interesting just going against a giant scarecrow. Oh, look, it's a sheep! It's a sheepy sheep! Now, if I remember right, this only has, uh... Only has a hundred gems in it. If I remember... Oh, God! Why? Why you flat me? Thank you. Wait... Hold on, one of the gems is floating. That's not good. Oh no, it just landed on top. Okay, I was gonna say, um, that doesn't help me at all. I don't even have sparks right now, which makes this even harder to grab gems. Like, I actually have to touch them. Touch! Oh my god, a thousand gems! Yay! So happy about that. I'm, I'm gonna, it's gonna be interesting once we, uh... 100% this game because my goal is to uh, get that 120% at the end of this playthrough. That's my main plan at least. Okay, give me sparks. Then we'll uh, heal him up real quick. That way I don't have to uh, worry about it. Now let's head on to the next hub world because that's gonna be our next goal. 100% the next hub world and then. Basically, we're hundred percenting everything. I see you've been busy rescuing dragons, Spyro. 
You may travel to the Peacekeeper's world if you like. Are you ready to go? Yep, let's go. Man, I'm so mean. I just hopped on his head. Because I'm a jerk. Oh, I can't do anything. I have to sit and watch. I love how, like, it's a little... <laughs> oh, God. It's just interesting. Now, if I remember right, there's five hub worlds. If I remember correctly. I could be wrong. I think that... I'm 100% sure it's five or six. No, there's six. Because, uh, the final hub world is considered... Okay. Yeah, yeah, so... Now we're heading on to this one. Actually, this is my favorite HUD world. I think a lot of people love this HUD world. I could be wrong. But I remember this being a huge thing. The whole, uh... This one has a war setting, which is nice. Welcome to Peacekeepers. Look how our treasure has been stolen and turned against us. Please, recover our treasure, Spyro. Collect treasure. Got it. Everything's like war setting now. Like it's basically uh it's it's just a big all out war basically. That's it. Oh, this is gonna be interesting. And basically what I'm doing is just gonna go through one hundred percent everything in the hub world. Which honestly, it's interesting that there is a 100% for the hub world, being that it's the hub world. But I, I love it nonetheless because it makes the hub world feel like less empty. Now, I don't think there's anything in these tents, but I do know you can get like these guys to go in the tents, and like right when you open it, they'll just sit there and. Shot, throw their high knees at me. Now, I don't know if I meet the, the requirements for the next HUD world. Which I doubt I do. I don't know. I'm not too sure. I do love how a lot of the Norks, though, are just boring. Like, they just don't care, basically. They're just too scared. Hey, Spyro! Sparks the Dragonfly has been doing a good job protecting you. Make sure to keep him strong by feeding him lots of butterflies. God, I love the new animation with all of the characters. Especially since originally they were basically just like the same ca- What the? What the? There's an invisible wall right here. Look at this. What? <laughs> That's so weird, okay. I guess either my game's glitched right now or what? I don't know. Uh, can I shoot this? Okay, yes. Or maybe there's an update out? I don't, I'm not sure. I could be wrong on either one, but... If there's an update out and I just don't know about it, I'm gonna need a. No, they won't let me play the game if there was an update. I don't know. I don't know what's up with it. I didn't have these the that glitch before. I know that. So that's that's interesting for me. Okay, so I need to blast that open somehow. I'm trying to think. Is there? No, I don't think there's cannons on this side. I think this is the only cannon so far. So what I'll do is I'll just aim it down. Because I think it auto-locks on anything that's in front of it. Let's see. Yeah, okay. That's what I thought, at least. Oh, yeah. <laughs> I was trying to think. Wait, are all the up... Do I have all the upgrades? Or do I... Like, in the previous Spyros? Or do they leave the particular one I'm thinking about out? Which is the, uh little flutter at the end, which appears in Spyro 2, but never appear, like, I believe it never appears afterwards, but I could be wrong. Okay, now we got an egg thief, egg, okay, so what I think, there we go, oh god, 
That was not good. Hi, how are ya? Gunner, how are- Oh. Well done, Spyro. Keep up the good work and I know you'll fulfill your destiny. Destiny? I just wanna kick some- Just toast those enemies and collect the treasure. Wow. <laughs> Listen, listen, you gotta let the kid finish speaking. Maybe he was gonna say what you were gonna say. Doubtably, but, you know, I'm just saying. It could be a possibility. Okay, let's just fly over here. Woo! Got that little boost. I'm gonna get that 100%. That's what I'm going for right now. 100% right now. Yes! Perfect. Okay. 100%. I didn't miss anything my first try. So, hey, that's a good thing. That's a good plus. So, we're going to head off to the first world we have here, which is Dry Canyon. This is going to be interesting. Just because, uh, Dry Canyon. Uh, shouldn't it be that long of a level? None of these levels should be long, personally. I should be able to go by them quickly, like I did first video, where I completed every single level except for Toasty. Don't know how this, how this is gonna play out though. I just know uh, Toasty's gonna be an interesting one. Well, to Toasty was an interesting one. It, going through the game is gonna be interesting. Especially when I'm going for a 100% run. Something that, you know, I gotta really think oh, what, what, how am I gonna do this? Am I gonna get this all first try or what? Which is something I'm curious about. Am I gonna get it all first try or or will I miss something? I know, for example, I can't do it first try in uh, the uh, later. I only, yeah, the later Spyros. Because I remember two and three had like secret levels as well. Like you had to progress forward in order to get them. Oh, there's the egg thief. I was wondering where that. Hehehehe. <laughs> I just gotta cut him off. Oh god, I can't. Yeah, there we go. You gotta get really close to do that. Personally, my one thing that I don't. I, the one thing that turns me away from Spyro are the freaking thieves. They're always the worst. I think it's all, and I believe three is like my least favorite just because of the thieves. Thank you for releasing me, Spyro. God, I love that. All right, let's head on forward. We're just gonna go around the whole world right at the moment. Try to get everything I can. Before I fully explore it, because I know there's a lot of things I can go for in this game. Especially in like levels like this, where there's multiple different areas. So I got him right on the perch. Oh, and there's the end level right there. Nice. Gotta make sure I don't land on it. I think I, I just fly to it. Nope. There's gotta be a way. Oh, I see, I see it. There's a, there's another way. We won't worry about that for now. We're just gonna head up to this area real quick. Explore more of the level because it's just a, a portion of it. There's more down here. Now the interesting thing is when I actually get to the original games. That's gonna that's gonna be an interesting thing to go through, uh, seeing if I can 100% the level without all the uh, helpful skills that Toys for Bob gave me to help help me out with stuff. Like for example, giving me uh, the gem tracker. Because I know the gem tracker, tracker is going to be one of the things that will uh, make 100%ing the old games. 
kind of interesting since I know uh, in this the gem tracker really helps out trying to figure out where all the gems are especially like I think later ones they have hidden gems like not like well hidden gems not just like oh hey just gems that are slightly hidden but really well hidden okay let's get this dragon real quick then we'll end the video is that you Spyro are you the young dragon I've been hearing so much about ever since you're a wee puff of smoke we've known uh, you've known uh, I forget Dang. Alright. Well, guys, I'm gonna end it here. If you guys enjoy, make sure to like, subscribe, check out all the links in the description below. It really helps out, and I will see you guys next time. Bye!